Hello guys, in this video we will learn how to add or remove blocks from the pages using observers. So rather than doing the layout XML files and then add and remove blocks from there, we will do it from the observer. It's absolutely programmatically and you can add logic to it whether to add blocks in certain conditions or not or remove blocks in certain conditions. So let's go ahead and start that now. The example I'm going to demonstrate is this page. The home page or the product page in the product page we will have the add wish list and add to compare we can add another node here or another link or remove one of these links say we want to remove the add to compare link and then we can do it from the observer rather than doing it from the xml files the layout files so let's start ahead and jump in right into the code so i have already created the module and it has only the module and registration file so first of all we are going to do is create the observer and then set up the observer from after creating the observer class so let's create the observer class so we will call the class as add remove lock observer and thus will implement the observer interface and we need to implement the interface method the execute so we have the observer now we don't need to do anything right now we just need to set it from the configuration files so in the configuration files we will look at the etc and then we will create file inside front end folder because this is we're going to run on front end only and not going to run on back on the back end so we will specify in the front end and then we create events XML file and now in the events the event we are listening to is this event I'm just copying it and then paste it here so it's a layout generate blocks after this event we are going to use and the observer name will say uh, remove blocks and then the instance is this class so we just copy it and paste it here in the beginning or slash so this is the setup for the observer now we are using this because it has a, the information and before rendering the content of the page the layout will go through processing the blocks will generate them after they generate them we can remove them or we can add more to them so if we look at the event in the class so here the information we will have is the full action name and the layout object which is from the builder from the layout builder so we will have this to determine which page we are in and then we will use the layout to add and remove more blocks so this is a very critical information because sometimes you don't want to add or remove blocks from all the pages because those play those pl blocks only exist in certain pages so you can check which full action name is in order to target certain pages with the layout this is where the object you can add and remove blocks from so basically we have this event and then we have this observer now the first thing we're gonna do is we look at a block we're going to remove so if we look at this block add view add to compare and this is in here so you can have a look this is the name of the block where the page appear here so this add to compare is exactly this block so let's go ahead and implement this in the observer so first of all we will look at having the layout from the observer so we can say layout equals observer get data layout and we seen get data get layout because this is the layout as the data so you can call it by get data or get layout it's up to you so you can also say a different version as get layout and this is absolutely fine so let's go ahead with this magic method so get layout and also we want to check whether we are in the product page and not in any other page so we'll say if observer get full action name the action name we are looking for is catalog product view this is where the controller is so catalog product view so if we are on this page so how do we know this is a catalog product page or catalog product view this is very simple you can go to the vendor and then from the vendor we know go to magento and then in magento we go to catalog and then controller so this is the catalog as the so if we look at the etc 
see and then front end and routes you can see it's catalog and then we will see in the controller there is a category and then view and there is product and view controller so catalog product view this is where we get the full action name catalog product view so this is where we get it now we will look for the block what we said we are trying to find out about this block so we will just copy the name here and we say block equals layout get block and then we get it by name and then we say if a block because some Sometimes the block is being removed from the XML files we cannot find it so you cannot run anything on it but you have to check if the block exists and then you go layout and then unset element and then you say block get name in layout now you can use this method as get name in layout or you can just use this one and pass it here because get name in layout will give you exactly this one anyway so we have this prepared and we have the events and then we have this i think we are good to go but we need to flush cache so we will go php fp and magento c will stand for cache and then f will stand for flush so instead of saying cache or flush you can say cf and then you say full page block html and also we did change the config so we say config so we run we clear cache of these and then refresh the page and here we go the link is removed and this is how we done it now we can just go ahead and then comment this and then we will bring it back no because we need to flush cache and i think we just need those now if we refresh you can see is coming back now but we want to remove it so we remove it as this way and then we can have flushing cache again here we go it's gone now now we need to add another link here uh, probably we need just to demonstrate how to add a block to the page via observer but we're not going to style it or do anything with it we just need to add a another another link so if we go here we will go and create a PHTML file and that will be inside you front end templates and then we say test HTML. now the test will have href and we don't have anything in it and then the class will be action and then we say test block now this is a test block we need to add it as a template or as a block we need to add it via observer so we will go to the observer and here we can do it now how we're going to do it is we say layout add block and this add block so if we just put a code hint in here if you go to the add block method you'll say block class name and the name of the block you're going to add and then the parent where you want to inject this block under which parent so you give it a name and then you give it the parent name now let's go ahead and start this one by one so we will say here block name and here the name of the block but this is the class the first one is the class name and then the name the class name is whatever the class you create but we will have the template class so we're not going to create any class but we will have the template so this is our class uh, let me just import it and then here we call it a training test block and then the parent this is critical this is where I want to add it in here so if we go to the this we remove we will see it's inside a block which is product info r2 this one so we will make this as a parent so we copy it and then paste it here now this method will return a block so we'll return a block and it's a block object now we need to set a template to it how do we set template is simple we just say set template and the template will be training in fact let me go here and then copy this template and then we call it what did we call it test phtml file so it's test.phtml now we add the block in observer so let's go ahead and refresh there's nothing we need to flush cache then refresh and here you go you can see there is a test block here and this is being added from the observer and this is the method so this is the method to remove block so i'm just have a php doc on it and then in fact start remove block and here remove block end here start add block add block end. so this is the method to remove block and this is the method to add it i hope this is useful and i think this is the end of the video uh, please like and subscribe if you like the video and i see you next time